Susan would like to know any updates we have on Karula and the potential of her having cubs. Not sure what noises I heard there, but we can just stop and listen for a while. Um, Susan, there's been some very interesting information on Karula in the last week or so. Basically, we got a report, and I think Monday or Tuesday from one of the guides, that he had seen her with suckle rings, nursing rings around her nipples, indicating that she would have had cubs. Now, nobody saw the cubs, and the only report that I got was that she was seen with suckling rings. The very next day, we got a report that she was mating with Tingana, a male leopard. Now, interestingly enough, we did get some feedback from one of our long-term viewers who remembered that on Karula's third litter, she did a very similar thing. She had given birth, but she was seen mating with the male leopard shortly afterwards. It was for a short period of time then, leopardess will sometimes do this, to give men the false impression that they are actually the father of those cubs. Now the reason why she'd want to do that is that would prevent that leopard from killing cubs that are not his own which is what male leopards will do so that they can get their genes into the system. So it's one of actually the biggest killers of leopard cubs. It's other male leopard that did not father them. Now, what is different about her mating with Tingana this time, as opposed to the last time she was seen mating when she did actually have cubs, was that she continued to mate with Tingana for about two or three days, which means that she either didn't have cubs in the first place or possibly lost the cubs very shortly after she gave birth to them and leopard can almost immediately mate with males once they have lost their cubs because their next step will be trying to raise the next litter and they won't waste any time about that so who knows possibly it means that she's lost her last two litters that she's given birth to and that's after having i think raised five or six litters successfully so it looks like her luck may have turned Anyway, time will tell. We nearly got to see her this morning, and that would have been great. We could have made some assumptions of our own. And even though we didn't, there's still a chance we could find her around Buffalo Dam this afternoon. So that's good prospects for this afternoon and about of as in-depth of an update as I can give you, Susan. But again, this is all going on what we've heard, not what we've actually seen.